My master. <laughs> Safe. The scriptures. Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain. Free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you <laughs> Fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
The Celestial Court welcomed you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs honing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> Your might is with me! Who stands with you? Hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. <sighs> this stone has stood for countless days on the mountain since my youth. They said that his remains lie within it. 
<laughs> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuaguo, he may yet rise again. On the gold bend the toll life of human or for gold. Nowhere better than a home. We to death and ever grow. Huh? Here, yeah. you see what bliss my fate well, shows. Well, <laughs> luck's around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a fruit yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! No matter how many times you come around, you're still as mischievous as ever, eh? For pluck your hair and make an offer. Hey, hey, wait! I, the keeper of Black Wind Mountain, have long been waiting for your arrival. Fitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers. 
before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Oh, that's a tough one. Good luck to you! It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway. Just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young boys these days know no manners! Fear not. Teach them a lesson with your new spell!
when you're down. There'll be no more toys. <laughs> King <laughs> Which you don't think you can just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. <sighs> Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. <laughs> it might be humble. But my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore. But be wary. A few this form does not I last. I wonder if there's anything Should left you find inside. Yourself lost. Just follow my voice. Now, Leave them be. Off you go. One misstep. Lord Lingshu might make a meal out of us. He might not know. But a shapeshifter is on his way here. Far
lost your weapon. Maybe I will spare I see. Why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in goodness mercy? What say you? You just had to make some noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. When a chime so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guais will surely be alarmed.
set off that beast. In the backyard is Blackwing Gwai's ally, calls itself Ling Schutzer. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, get away while you can, little monkey.
Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back! Deserving reward for that fight. and fear not. Noble blood doesn't prey on travelers like you. You don't look like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwing Gwai is a sly one. 
He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. Oh, I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Now, I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then.
long bound by worldly cage, now free in nature's sage. Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? Their wills float aloft, never to fade. Shame, your god serves little purpose, and mine answers solely to me. Hmm. I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. It will aid you. This is better. This gourd, though humble, may save the lost, banish their obsessions, and guide them. For one as destined as you, there can be no turning back. We are like tumbleweeds. Drifting through life with a destiny beyond our grasp. Fair sights fade, but with ink I bid them stay. The road has claimed you, now you must see it through. Your heart will guide you further. We shall meet again. Fair sights fade, but with ink I bid them stay. The road has claimed you. Now you must see it through. Your heart will guide you Thank <laughs> you. 
This humble one's name is Guangmo. Should my demise come by your hands, please pass this message to my master. Searching for deity, mortals do aspire. Craving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire! <laughs> Elder Jincha to burn the great sage and Chang Monk alive. That's the story. I thought they were already turned into ashes by that fire. Who would have thought they had turned into Yao Guais? ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead and take them out, once and for all?
<laughs> These snake guys are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside. Well, well. I'd stake your one more monkey from Mount Huaguo. I've met many of you. By the rank of birth, you all ought to call me forefather. <laughs> but I'm just an old monkey, banished to the mortal world. Remember, young friend, a sip makes one tipsy, many sips make you hammered. Bird, hailed bird, what dimmed your shine? Past's grip beyond our grasp, the future we may still clasp. <laughs> mm. Late is the hour, young one, in which you choose to stay in my tranquil abode. Pray tell. To what end do you seek? Gentle, yet an engulf. Now you shall face what I truly am! Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed ever fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. The three bells, have you seen them all? Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the Black Wind Guire's return, yet no one is allowed to go near them. Maybe the bells have something to do with the temple's burning. His words sound like truth to me, little monkey. Stay sharp and keep a lookout. Mitchaba! Oh, 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 finally then, the three bells sang. Disciples come, I hear travelers approaching my temple carrying new treasures. <laughs> mm. I cannot see you, but I recognize your odor. Now give it back! Tell me, good boy. Guess it now! 
Fireproof mantle. The great sage borrowed it from Virapaxa. How did it end up here? You must have freed that miserable soul. Oh, such is his end. A tragedy prologued by a sick class. It's getting late. Let's hurry up the mountain.
come to the wrong place. Five hundred years. I have rebuilt the temple. Now it's grander in scope. All those monks consumed by the fire turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always knew. One day you shall return. <laughs> you challenge me without even letting me have dinner first. <laughs>
You have some cheap tricks. Meet me at the summit if you dare! <laughs> the spell he just cast may appear intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs> Disperse, illusions traverse. You still have a lot to learn, but give yourself the time you need.
He once told me, out of sight, out of mind is a fool's task. Seeing but seeing through is what wise men do. But didn't he turn mad by what he saw too? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, pardon me, young sage. Mercy, young sage, have mercy. I was just a pawn of the celestial court. If given a choice, who dared to challenge the mighty wrecker of the celestial palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly, and this thing is eerie. I had no idea how to make use of its power. Except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guanyin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. Oh, ignore his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic.卷青，千般缘，色与空，弹指间，轮回路，游万次千，求不得，闭上眼，一生功名。
Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinche still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya. How shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that Kasaya was merely the eleventh. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries, yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one Kasaya. Centuries of devotion undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic. Fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. Which deities do most abound upon the earth? The Keepers, surely. Though humble in rank, nothing in the mortal world escapes their eyes. You'd be wise not to spurn their kind, for who knows what powers stand behind them. Wee 
，修得大手接佛力，邪佛一死也就起。哪知不测起火，起胆气，那黄毛孽畜再回去。修凡不死好得意。不修后事却长命。I reckon I got an idea why you have come here, my friend. Haste makes waste. <laughs> I'll lend you a hand. Don't you step in. Get more shots and you'll be high and dry.
Come at a good moment. One of my formulas was swallowed by a petty frog. Stay and help. A deity like myself will not short you. Oh, how wondrous! <laughs> you could. <laughs> Man follows earth, earth follows sky, sky follows Tao, Tao follows nature. <laughs> These common pills, I grant you. Hereafter, you may craft more yourself at the shrines. I must retrieve a furnace forthwith. Pray forgive my departure. Can I not know your sufferings? A 
Before our master returns from the valley, we've got to tough it out. Tough it out to survive. The lads went out to see the altar the other day. Said it's stinking worse than ever. And covered in bones. Not from men or livestock, but littered in the remains of our kin. Curse that furry jackass. Ooh, just wait. Wait until Master hears about this. Hush. Hush, you fool. Our restoration. We can't say it out loud now. Poor brother and What's that smell? Aye, that's fresh meat. Delivering itself all the way to this dump for our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This befits you grandly. 
Hey, luckily I've kept it close for its rightful owner. A life for a life. He must pay. and atone for your past now. No! Are you mad? Go and hunt the monkey. I'm your father! Come <laughs> on. 
bloody hell. What's the hold up this time? Soak your offerings, and don't breed more rats. If you dare to look up the King's practice again, I'll serve your dimwit full up for supper. Myself. Ain't you that old loser? Where'd you come from? Your bird-faced mock. <laughs> Who cares anyway? I'll gobble you up first. <laughs> This body of yours is perfect for the art of rock solid.
Mine eyes doth see the Dow from the confines of my abode. Greeting, brave one. Seek from within to ascend. Seek from without to craft pills. Ah, a wondrous marvel of the universe. Resides beneath every mountain and abyss lies. Where disparities persist, blood baths may arise. I cannot escape, and nor can you. A skinny wretch like you has come far enough.
Just for a short reign over this barren valley. Sattva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent, a victim of his deceit. I had my head taken by him. The sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please, keep it secure in my stead.
Men, beasts, Buddhas, Yaoguais. Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? With the wind and sand you've endured here, did you reach the forgotten kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's Acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you'll stray from the path. Rats and cats, Neither grasped their destiny, and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. Spared him, punished him, avoided him, eluded him. Master's grace taught, disciple's plot sought. <laughs> His golden long staff meant nothing once mortal compassions took root. But his atphus too could fall in this way. They could have put their belief in anything, yet they chose a Yao Guai. Those who deny the rules must suffer the wrath. No wind wrought such destruction here. The Samadhi wind brought only malice here. Vajras and Arhats before the yellow wind shivered. Mounts of Bodhisattvas, a lion cyan and an elephant white, in fear quivered. A wicked Yao Guai of fierce might followed a discerning master. It was his blessing, but also became his curse.
Thine eyes doth see the Tao from the confines of my abode. Team brave one. Mounted to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they prepare me for their king's table. <sighs> this place crawls with Yaogwai's eager for a bite. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. 
Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. And I can make my own way out. You are a skinny one. But these rats aren't picky eaters. Flee! The quicker the better. I won't die here with my task undone. I won't die here with my task undone. There are too many eyes around here. We will meet again if fate wills it. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. enriches the brew, and the two both cloud our mind. Next time, down a few mouthfuls in one go! It's delightful! <laughs> Thank you. 
Faith and devotion, quite the notion. Yet how many can claim a mind so pure, still, and sure? Look at you, through the heavy snow you roam. Desiring that thing, no doubt. I read your fortune before you came. Care to hear? Act not and be still, thy gifts art thy ill. If you seek your own end, I shall not stop you. <sighs> I, the Keeper of the New West, welcome the Destined One. Now fly! On the lake? Therein lies the thing you seek. The lord of this land is away. Seize it now and leave. Thank <laughs> you. 
delightful. It still recalls your scent. When that monkey was alive, he was all about weeping and begging for help. Now, even in death, he led all you younglings right to me. This sack of mine can barely fit you all. <laughs> Kung Jing Long, now that you are ready, go and weigh up this one for your master.
<laughs> you have chosen your way. This time, there will be no easy way out.
Hold it, my friend. Sit with me a while. Dark furred, devious natured, hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land bites with cold. Lack of readiness could be your undoing. 
Our reunion is destined. And so is my role to teach you this little trick. Ah, I am extraordinary. As is my flame. It shall help you in need. Need injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yagwai, none shall dare to draw nigh. to joining you. Oh, I don't deserve you. That old bastard has really made good use of Wukong's relic. Even you, a celestial courtier, bend to his will. Yet my ears tell me that the destined one has got the money wheel. Pity. Reckon it won't be your master who unlocks these metals eventually. These gold symbols are made by our grand master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that? No, he's here below. Turtle? Snake? Who cares? I caught a whiff of monkey stench familiar enough for me to tongue by welcome. Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West. Died and come back. <laughs>
are set in their ways. Still, though, you'll never crack the gold symbol! So long, constipation! I was nearly cooked alive in there. Move it. <laughs> Blasted I saw. Wasn't even worth my second glance back in the court. Same look again. A furry coat and a pinched face. Lux, all you've got. Great, another mute. Whatever. Let's not dally. 
Now the turtle and I have shared a few tales. That yellow brow is not like the folks. That old monkey from Mount Quagro asked me to back you up here to see his ugly tricks. He told me that once we gather all six relics, we can bring Wukong back. Let's say I buy it for now. I'll go and catch up with him first. You take a look around. Idiot, why loiter there? Are we leaving or not? My old friend! You must have had it rough all these years in this shithole! Rest easy! Once we're ashore, I'll take down that blasted temple to avenge you and Brother Snake! Are we going on, or is this it for the journey? Thrust from the wind. If I fall sick from cold, boy, the blade falls square on you. The 
easier you. Where the path narrows, danger lurks. Live here. Yeah. <laughs> 
like a good place. Oi, kid! You look suspicious. What kind of Yaoguai are you? Shh. I'm looking at that Buddha over there. See his belly button? It's so big. Me and you, we look way smaller. Buddha? Where is it? You see no Buddha because you think no Buddha. No thought, no sight. I, the sacred Gormand, saw enough Buddhas before you were born. Foolish brat. You didn't see that coming, did you? True hearts find their path, and the Buddha is on that path. Why not worship with a true heart? The path might just show itself. Worship my hoof. Visit temples, kneel to figures. You tell no black from white. That's my master. I am fed up with all these skin-deep rites. <laughs> <laughs> no true heart, the path is sealed. With true heart, it's revealed. Visit each temple you encounter and worship every Buddha you see. Or the true face of Buddha will always remain elusive to your eyes. it now. For Buddhas, that boy said. Ah, there must be four Buddhas to worship. <laughs> Loony monk. Can't reason with him. Just go through the motions, boy. Who knows if it's true or not? That little monk was speaking riddles. When we journeyed to the New West, our master took it from Mount Lingshan. He visited and kneeled to every figure until Yellowbrow captured him. Uh, I'm not my master.
survival. Do not pass one more treat from my race! Visit each temple you encounter and worship every Buddha you see, or the true face of Buddha will always remain elusive to your eyes. Visit each temple you encounter and worship every Buddha you see, or the true face of Buddha will always remain elusive to your eyes.
What's that sound? That little mug's up to his tricks once more. Worship my hoof. Let's go back. Chubby one, we've done the rights. Where's the path? <laughs> the path? Isn't it always there? <laughs> Don't you trick me, you bald, pot-bellied brat! All I'm seeing are mountains, no path at all! He sees wisely with faith. You are daft without it. Cut your nonsense! You must be that trickster himself, fooling us all along! Take my rake! <laughs> <laughs> Why so rude? I didn't force you to kneel! Throwing a tantrum at your age? Shame on you! Uh, you brat! Save your stupid path! I'll borrow one myself! Uh, uh, you go on first. I'll meet you at the summit. Uh, One monkey dead, and another shows up. <laughs> the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well.
Kind sir, pause your steps and heed my story. I was a fox guy who practiced to become one of the humans. One day, I was foraging for food and found myself caught in a hunter's trap. A young scholar saved me and kept me in his home to let me hear. I couldn't move, yet my heart swelled with gratitude.
Ages ago, Jinjanzu and I were peers. Ever questioning with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra when one oneself can be a Buddha? Trickster caught you too. 
This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard! Join me! Let's fight our way out. I remember what the Buddha said at the Ulam.
Things are impermanent and lead astray. Be a butcher, then be a butcher. To retaliate in kind, you must be of that kind. Now, you have introduced your karma in. Such enlightenment surely would grant you good of Assist with this power. What is 
vessels of my seeds is how it utterly remade all who for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hands. I, Yellow Brow, fight solely for myself. rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Uh, you potbelly! I should have figured out it was you! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <sighs> lend me that break of yours. <sighs> <sighs>
Married in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? fathom his mind. For half a verse of the ultimate truth, Snow Mountain ascetic gave his life, so attained Buddhahood. 
Such is the sole way to rise above all and build a faith. If those with talents should proudly scorn the rules and do as they please, how then may all the realms enjoy peace and prosperity? fathom his mind. For half a verse of the ultimate truth, Snow Mountain ascetic gave his life, so attained Buddhahood. Such is the sole way to rise above all and build a faith. If those with talents should proudly scorn the rules and do as they please, how then may all the realms enjoy peace and prosperity? Shanu of the North the vanquisher of Yaguais. The Jade Emperor once ordered him to purge the world of evil. The turtle and the snake were his generals back then. Alas, the snake general can no longer join the ranks, and Shanu is no more. My friend, it's not gold. Gold, my ass. My bones are cracking from lugging this load. Step it up. I gotta catch that feast on time. <laughs> Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wed a mate and devour him. Once our lady brought her a wedding gift, a mirror. The past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it, and for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. What? Who's in there? How dare you spoil the gift from her who's You come down and join us. <laughs> Leaving so soon? Why the shyness? <laughs> Looks like there's a dwelling ahead. Care to take a quick peek? Ooh, living 
this forsaken place. None but spineless guais fooling about. We came here on your word, but see, even the pests here plague our path. Own treasure. <laughs> what petty guy? Right. <laughs> 
All hotheads wind up dead. A wide road ahead. An ambush all but certain. There's a nice shrine here, kid. We should take a look. <sighs> Hold your monkeys. <laughs> Let me fix you up a little. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, good sirs. The feast is all set. Please come in and be our guests. Gentlemen, you're fashionably late. Is your lady not joining us again this time? Uh, our lady uh, prefers not to be seen in the lower realm. Uh, but she's been thinking of you all and sent this small token. She hopes your lady will recover soon and pay her visit up there. <laughs> It's a pity she didn't come. Or she would certainly enjoy a splendid show we've prepared for her. <laughs> but now, the gift's gone and blood's been shed. 
I say, you two should take the fall. We're just servants, madam. What's the jest? Zhu Ba Jie. I know you find your look embarrassing, but why hide from my mother with another pig face? <laughs> Rude girl. Don't you know I'm a pious Buddhist? Give me your mother's name, and I'll check my list. You heartless ass. After you ruined her house and her reputation, you're telling me you don't remember her. Reputation? Ha! <laughs> Yao Guai's care about reputation. All she cared about was lust. Now I know. You're one of her spiderlings, aren't you? <laughs> well, well. Your rudeness is forgiven. Show some respect. Maybe I'll kindly pay your mother a visit. <laughs> visit or not, I'm afraid that is not your call. <laughs> Human skin can't change your gross nature! Uh, yeah, uh, sure. We are so low compared to you, a glorious admiral of the court. Ain't the last monkey still fresh in his grave? And here you are, another monkey sidekick. Cut your bullshit! Get your mother to beg for mercy, and maybe I'll spare your foolish life! <sighs> Truth is, the thing you seek is right here in the hollow. Flee now if you're too scared to come in. Scared my hoof! I'll destroy this rotten hole right now! Let's see where else you'd build your lair!
Big day, big day, big day, big day. I heard there's a great treasure hidden within. You seem smart. Why don't you take a chance inside?
I've laid your path for you. But where will my path be? From now on, we're both on our own. <sighs> Tell me, monkey, what's it like out there? Beyond these mountains? about the wedding been dreaming about yours little <laughs> brat dead <laughs> stop it i take it back hey look the groom is here apologies for keeping you waiting sisters wow is he really the one mother's been expecting i thought he would look better he's not much to look at but as long as mother is happy not much of a looker but quite a fighter, though. Had to use Mother's ancestral vessel to take him down. Still aching. Aren't you diligent? Such a rare catch. Why not let us sisters have it first? Think before you talk. This is the one Mother is set on. One scratch. And none of us would like the results. What would this marriage change? We are bound to this ill place one generation after another. Even you like this farce. Go. Go ahead and watch. Sisters, the feast is yet to start. Don't tell me you're drunk already. Right, he's nothing but mother's meal. No need to make a big fuss over him. Here, he is all yours. You've done great. Wait. Mother has grown soft with age, and the girls are too young to know better. But can't you see it's all wrong? Yes, but try to think from her position. We're her children. This is what we do. But I am on her side. For decades, she's been tortured by her wound, all thanks to this dumb thing. And yet, she still wants to marry him. No! I can't do this anymore. Love is not about forgiving or getting even. It is never a fair game. It's about two souls woven together by fate. But I... Neither of us was born then. We never witnessed her past. That's why we can't understand her obsession today. Have you told Uncle? Let's worry about that later. Though her joy is borrowed, it's still joy before it's returned. You, come with me. Ahead is Mother's chamber. 
Now listen carefully for your own good. Mother is usually nice, only she prefers to dine alone. You wouldn't want to disturb her. And don't look at her in the face, especially her eyes. Hurry, we are running out of time. My words, keep them in mind. Go, there's no time to waste. Years up there haven't been kind to you. But you're with me now. Girls, let the feast begin!
now. Just you wait. <laughs> on earth. It was one merry night, and now she wants to take my life. You are following me like a shadow. Can't you do anything without me? Wait. Spare me this burden. Died. Did you see all of that? You...
ready. You're the one who ruined it all. This time, I am staying here. You won't make me leave again. I have made my mind to stay.
Why dredge up the past? Aren't we here now? Don't you remember how I spared your life when he asked me to clean up the rest of your sisters? <laughs> I do remember. And more than that, I even remember how I survived on my sister's flesh after you left. That's not all on us. The culprit is that centipede. All would have lived if he didn't weigh my master's flesh over your lives. Yes, he was blinded by greed. But he has repented and made his compensation. He even offered that thing to sustain my life. Otherwise, I'd never live to see you today. My dear, is that true? That thing is in your hands. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> even now, in your heart, the monkey still comes first. The monkey? Nah, for me, beauty always comes first. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Carry on with these nice words. Once I'm satisfied, I might lift my finger and tell you where to find it. You wicked hag! Can't you see your old face? Still obsessed with all this lovey-dovey crap at this age? Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> Every day trapped in this hollow, I missed and dreamed waiting for the day to eat you right after we mate, so I can heal. Then eat! Could have saved me from your stupid ceremony and vows! What a farce! <laughs> My appetite is lost, not just for you. But also for her. Baba? Hideous! Hideous spider! Who fathered such a thing? Your fate today has nothing to do with me! I had my mercy misplaced, that's all! What took you so long? I almost died! Now go, go quick, this sisters. hag, and get me down! Monkeys, the bane of my life. Why do you always have to ruin my plans? In what way am I any less than monkeys? This monkey that you love. I'll chop his heart, slice his liver, and make you eat them!
the relic! Go! I can take care of myself! That's it!
Who goes there?
，罗汉降龙，海底捞月，海底捞月。凤凰展翅，古树盘根；野马跳涧，钟馗照剑；罗汉降龙，海底捞月；白猿献佛，哪吒探海；怪蟒翻身，飞佛
Welcome in <laughs> Save me! Uh, uh, so, both my trap and my vessel failed. But how? When I saw him, I... I just couldn't... 
The destined one then arrived and bested me. Now the monkey has ransacked our hollow. A mere monkey showing such disrespect. Your wound was recovering. But now it's getting worse. Fear not. I'll deal with him. But before that, that thing of mine, do you still have it? I, I do. Very well. Despite all your failures, you led the destined one here. I should reward you for that. But the thing I gave you, now I must have it back!
间的交通，月光在西边的城楼，思念是眉间的。相拥无言，怨天黑化到你，总会说不够这一。
放手这一刻，也不用太久。唤醒后尘埃中，绽放火种。Strength, but not in wisdom. You've not only hurt Bajia and his darling, but also laid waste to the seal of the High Ones. A grave misdeed. Mortal or immortal, all seek to break from the past and start anew. Yet destiny, like a lover's tongue, speaks one way and means another. Though you may savor it yourself, you can never tell if you truly want it or not. Long ago, the many-legged one was subdued by Bodhisattva Pilanpur and locked on Purple Cloud Mountain. Only by a plea from the Celestial Court was he spared. The immortals dispatch minions to enact their will, while they remain serene, as if playing a game of chess. Pity those pawns. They know full well what they are, yet they cling to false hopes and even take pride in it. The posts of the court have stood unchanged, but the same seat might not always be held by the same immortal. So too, the seven spider guise, they boast an endless procession of generations. This one must be a high immortal from the court. Amid the trials of the seven spiders and the many-eyed one, it was Bodhisattva Pilanpur who lent a hand. No aid from the court was given. But Wukong is ever heedless of rules. He might have sought higher places for help. Even the sacred Gormond remains mundane if he clings to the ties of love. He was an admiral of the court, a pig in the mountains, and Bajia in the journey. Yet his nature remains unchanged. <laughs> so be it, a guileless fool may know less sorrow.
time was, I guarded the Celestial River with my boys 80,000 strong, and the puny revenants dared to impede me. That grand transformation of mine was the only reason you're still standing here. A proper kneel to show gratitude would be appropriate, no? Fooled me once, never again. Deceptive tactics like this pose no threat. I'll go size them up first. Keep pace, boy. Two drops, honey brew, sheep curd. Oh, there's no going back to the court. Mine eyes doth see the Dow from the confines of my abode. From yin and yang, five elements emerge. Each nature inherits its unique creation, which form and bodies a universe. Uncover the secrets of sky and earth, and thou shalt have pills. <laughs> All things can be my material, yet I choose the rarest few.
Lad, it can't be you. I thought you were one of them. Well, what happened to me? The vanguard of the Bull King is relieved you're unharmed. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. I knew of you long ago. The thing you seek, the King must know about it. The whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning everything in their path. You seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Element Carts, an evil and powerful invention of the King's Son. I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, there's more to it. Got to hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Can't imagine the chaos without me. They're called Five Element Carts, an evil and powerful invention.
It's you, kind monkey! Oh, help me! Help me, please! Things went south in the mountain, and I barely escaped! But on my way down, Gwaith captured me! I've been kept here for three days! But now my luck has returned! My savior appeared here right in front of me! Should you extend your mercy to save my family? Uh, I'll repay your kindness at any cost! Master got it right! The last story goes out to us to help! Hello, Sam! My camera's <laughs> not bad! Please, Freddy! And what now?
Face out with it. If a single lie slips, my rake shall strike true. <laughs> that was so close. Thank you for saving me. I am the Bull King's daughter, Ping Ping. Oh, nonsense! The bull has no daughter. Dare to fool me, scoundrel! <laughs> I I know who you are. My mother is Princess Fairfox. You killed her. <laughs> After my mother died, I've been living with my father. His wife, Princess Rikshasi, took me in as her own. Later, brother came back from Bodhisattva Guan Yin, and we reunited. We had some peaceful days. My brother was kind to me and to our parents. But somehow, not long ago, he suddenly changed. He secretly summoned his old troops for a coup, imprisoned father, kept mother under strict watch. I... I had nowhere else to turn. I had to go for help. But barely after leaving the place, his minions fell upon me. <laughs> the Bull King's might is known. Even together, Wukong and I couldn't rival him. Rakshasi's plantain fan is also formidable. And you want me to believe that they were subdued by a kid? Subdued by their son? Who else could make them put their guard down? Really, with soft hearts, they could never harm him. You idiot! This fox is fooling you! Look at this place! Only my brother's Samadhi fire could wreak such havoc! Oh no. My father is dying. Please, kind monkey, help me and my family! A perilous place this is. Keep this cicada safe with you. It'll come in handy. Mm. That's a voice I know well. I'll go ahead and take a look. No time to lose now! Did Master Pig whisper to you just now? I've let go of our blood feud, but he still holds so much hostility. My brother's minions are everywhere. Stay close to me, kind monkey. Brother and I used to play around there. The Valiant Six had their ways of amusing us. What fun we had together. I'll get through this hole, and you can pass by that hack ahead. Let's go. 
Never give you the fan to be used against her precious son. to come along maybe he could talk mother into giving us the fan i'll go find him be careful out here Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Wanted monkey! Wanted star! <laughs> Wanted dead or alive! <laughs> Halt! Intruders! To the princess palace face! Death! Yeah! <laughs> 
stranger! Seize him! And you can break him for yourself! What? 
Cicada safe with you. You'll come in handy. Enough about your brother. If you care for him so much, why not go back to him and give me some peace? If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to lend me your pomp and fan to save Father. Save him? Or this mountain from his doom? Both are beyond this plan. Mother, please, I am begging you. Father's life hangs on a thread. A thread which brother could cut short any moment. Since when did you start caring for that old bull? Do you not think you can hide your secret wish from me? You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to... to lend me your plant and fan to save Father. <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I... I owe my life to Father. And to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi. I'm not a part of your family. And I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me... The Destined One had arrived. <laughs> The Destined One, who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi, your situation is grave. Do you not see? Who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly. Just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come, sit with me and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I called for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. <laughs> Uh, uh. Hmm. No, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days too. We oh, were so happy back then. What's in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my, my hoof. You deserve, deserve to know, to know before, before we kiss. kiss. You will live to repent this! <sighs> Filthy lowlife! You dare take her form and beguile me! My old friend, 
wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud! My candid words were wasted on your foul ears! Candid, my hoof! Your revenants are everywhere! I thought you'd have better lies! Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Vile beast! Your savagery knows no cure! But you will behave once my sourceless water from Toshita drops. I've aided your journey once. Now I shall aid you again on your way to death. The cat's life. From yin and yang arises two sides. From land and sky emerges a divide. Now you shall be feasted upon by my yin yang fish. What a stingy host! Such a meager fish. Hardly enough for a platter.
the truth has been revealed. Disasters are sure to follow. The turmoil you witness is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> Already. Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> <sighs> You, go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there. to come. Who will know of our rise and fall? Alas, in life, never enough drinks to enthrall. Why carry a tattered gourd? Find yourself a decent one, and we may share a drink.
found the fan. Look! Mother left her fan before she went away. She must have felt torn between her son and husband. But this iron ball, it just won't stop. Now that you are here, help me drive it away, and I'll let the fan do its work. Hey, Fox, how can you be sure it's even real? Rest assured, Mother taught me this spell. Only the real fan will answer it. The bull sounds weak, probably on his last legs. Guess I have to trust you once. I'll get down there and stop the ball and let you do your work. skin will protect him. Come on, let's save Father first. him here. It's the destined one. Brother is not around. You can hand it over to him now. Brother will surely give up on his plan once it's returned. And then we will be a family again. You mischievous monkey. You dare to push your luck, but always have a way out. Are you not thinking straight, Father? I brought the Destined One here to save you! I may be unwell, but I am not blind. You are not my daughter. How can you say that to me? I went through flames to find the Destined One for you. For you, Father, don't you see?
find out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Entertainment. That can wait. Quite something, huh? Have fun with this!
find a ruined family. My son is defeated, but not vanquished. I am afraid he'll rise again soon. Death talisman. Poor Keeper. Seems his legacy was his only offer after all. Wonder not a single raindrop was fanned. It was your trick the whole time. <sighs> My bad, old bull. I was a bit delayed. You little rascal. I'll teach you a lesson on your parents' behalf. <laughs> Let's go.
one in this. It's all day they dwell in my mother's womb. If blood and flesh don't compose my life's blood. Holding on, despite it all. Does your vengeance weigh more than your family? Spit it out now, his relic! My king. I'm sorry for my lateness. I turned to them, but none offered help. My lady, forget it. I implore you to show mercy and spare my son. He is the last of the Yaksha's bloodline in the West. With an origin most tragic and twisted. Now, he poses a threat no more. Should you grant him mercy, I, Rakshasi, and the Balking shall retreat ourselves to secluded meditation. Along with our children, we will never leave the mountain again. He is our son. We will bear his punishment. If it pleases you, my plant in fan is also yours to take. Flames have paved my way. Through flames, I shan't stray. Vain was my flame, for a revenge destined to stray. Their delight lies in our submission, kneeling and begging.
it. You've atoned through deeds, Black Bear. Take this pair of eyes. You've served the righteous cause, Yellow Rat. These ears are yours. Your power has gathered anew, Yellow Rat. Keep this nose. You've endured hardships on the eye. Go with the town. And the bull, it is the hardest to turn against a sworn brother. You can have his body. drink from the river of childbearing, to bear that boy in my womb. If not for that monkey, we could have lived our separate lives in peace. As if none of this had happened. You're cute. You knew who I was from the start. Why did you choose to be their lapdog? I never wanted to sever our ties. If kinship means anything to you, give me that relic. And let me avenge my people. My king! Let the monkey have my fan, and there will be no trouble. Your brother, I've disciplined. Your boy, I've given away. Your wife's fan. Today, I'll take it with me too. 
find a master and serve the right. It's the only path left for the likes of us. Don't you understand, brother? <laughs> Wukong! I took out the bull's concubine with a whack of my rake, too! <laughs> Turned out, oh, she was a fox guy! <laughs> The Akshas are the mightiest of the Eight Legions, after all. Be your body hard as metal, meeting death in scores is inevitable. Yet, why did you endure the fish and those carts just as poorly? <laughs> you rush like wind with a clouded mind. It's your desires that shape what you see. Had your mind been less unsettled, would you still have fallen for that child's play? Haste oft blinds while patience illumines. Next time, can you still fulfill as Wukong without budging? To subdue the Bull King, the Jade Emperor issued an edict. Nerja, with the incinerating wheels, the Gwai slaying sword, and the coiling tether, and his father with the sealing pagoda and the revealing glass. Combining their strengths, they mustered a host of immortals who fought the Bull King and narrowly defeated him. Amid Wukong's rampage through the court, he toppled Lord Lao's pill furnace. A few bricks bearing remnant flames fell here and became the Flaming Mountains. Lord Lao blamed the furnace-tending boy for his negligence, 
and banished him to become the keeper of this place. Before the journey, Wukong lived free and easy. He wandered the lands and befriended the mighty. He had six sworn brothers, the Bull King among them. The monkey and the bull both called themselves great sages. They were two of a kind. As for their parting of ways and hard-fought strife, those are tales for another time. As the Bull King collapsed, he cast a glance behind, as if catching a glimpse of his deepest fear. The Red Boy coming to claim his life with the five elemental carts and the Valiant Six. He wished this day would never come, yet also longed for its swift arrival. Getting home, son. Not getting all worked up. Oh. That old monkey's going to be at the mountaintop no matter what. We don't have to rush. Uh, we've gathered the five relics, just as he said. All we need now is the sixth one he has. Otherwise, no one up above would bother to ruin this place yet again. Yeah, they're coming for you, no doubt. Uh, I can't bear it.
Bad luck. It's a dead end. You nasty slanderer! I let you be, and now you have the gall to show up! If you come at me now, this day will be your last! Somersault Cloud! <laughs> I was wringing my brain out to fetch you, but this savvy one's already on it! <laughs> it must have been hidden here amongst the mist until it sensed the relics on you. Thanks to them, it recalled its master and saved your skin. Now that it answers to your call, why not make good use of it? 
Your mortal body is too heavy for me in my wind form. <sighs> All these henchmen of the court! What draws them to this mountain? Let's find out!
victory's mine! <laughs> 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 Fine then, fine. With you monkeys around, I'm always toiling away for nothing. <sighs> Kid, when you step up one day, try not to forget your Uncle Bajir. All I got from Wukong were the nasty jobs. You should do better than that. <sighs> now we're done here. Time to move on. <laughs> Stop it! Idiot!
Kong's gold sword seer armor. That monkey was full of surprises, just like me. He had his way to linger on, and his belongings, too. They're set on killing those mongrels of a court. But we've got to snatch them first, or these scum will take them. I'll go find the other ones. Keep up with me! Silly strands, you're all the more like Wukong. Just don't prance around with your might as he did. That monkey's got a stash of treasures. I'll scout around some more. <laughs>
swallow.
I owe you once more for saving my rump. My belly's not too vile, is it? I'm not a meat eater after all. I hope it didn't repulse you. Well, you fetched it. It wasn't all that bad, eh? <laughs> now that Wukong's armor set is complete, we should go to Water Curtain Cave. Come with me. Where do you come from, outsider? <laughs> In my realm, all monkeys are of similar face and shape. Your face speaks of a different breed, and an ugly one. <laughs> you must be a Yao Guai from another land. I've never ventured here since that journey. Nothing's changed after so many years. <laughs> he said this and told me to kneel. <laughs> right here on this seat. Ah, here it is. I knew it. Wu Kong is tight-fisted, even Guan Yin agrees so. He kept it here so it could be passed down to another one of his kind. Now it's
it's time for you to try it, kid. Once you have this, there's no turning back. <laughs> now, you look exactly like Wukong. You're all set, kid. You look like a fierce warrior. Come with me. Let's find out what that old monkey is up to. Lies just ahead. Let's be on our way. Ah, 
lose it! You're in my way! You will all lose it! All of you!
said we'd find him here, but I don't see a trace of him. There's nothing but a rock here. What's this supposed to mean? If you ask me, this rock must be the stone egg that holds Rukon. I gave it a knock, but nothing happened. Uh, uh, maybe you should have a closer look. You're here. We're here. Step aboard. Hey, old monkey. I hope this isn't a one-way trip, is it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't all life a one-way trip? Once you embark on the journey, there's no turning back. <laughs> Ah, what is this place? His memories. He'd had an eye for the finer things, and a will to wrest them from others. Laying his eyes on, then craving to seize their riches. No better than the Black Bear and Jinsha, I say. He can't have an eye for the finer things, while the Buddha oversees the Three Realms? Well, I hardly think that's fair. <laughs> How insatiable. Not content with his kingdom and title below, he asked for a position in the Celestial Court. But soon after his wish was granted, his joy turned to rage, all because he wasn't invited to a feast. He nearly ruined the entire Celestial Palace. <sighs> Years fume at unfavorable news. As untamed and ungrateful as that yellow rat, well, beasts are beasts, don't you think? He was young. He didn't know any better. Hadn't learned from the Buddha or our master yet. Aren't you being a bit harsh? Dredging up the scandals from his youth? Like his adulthood was any better. Since his release, he had claimed to have learned manners and discipline. Yet his wee franken gave him away. <sighs> Posing as an idol, he degraded the gods. Clear was his defiance of the doctrines he had learned. Well, he was just being naughty. <laughs> Aren't all great achievers somewhat self-obsessed? Myself included. <laughs> Nose in the air, feeling above others. I say, he was no less insolent than that yellow brow brat. Wait, isn't it that... that lady of some sort? Hmm. <laughs> it was her tricks that made Master drive Wukong away. On White Tiger Ridge, he forsook his love. Three times he broke her into pieces, convincing himself his heart would ache no more. Yet, as you must know, he had never let go of her. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so eager to get away from the Buddhahood he attained. Those who talk much of love will one day bite their tongues. <laughs> On this matter, he was akin to you and your many darlings. No matter where you are, you'd always fall captive to the web of mortal desire. Why bring me into this? True, I don't have the wits to break the web, but 
He had torn his way out since that day. No. Gah. <laughs> Take a look, Badger. Can you see? Yeah. Many of your good friends are here. We're just fair-weather friends, that's all. But they are still friends, aren't they? <laughs> so you say, so it must be. These old buddies. I think none of them ended up well. Indeed. For ages, countless gifted souls have walked this earth. Yet of them, how few have forged everlasting greatness. Do you know why? Injustice? Never has it been just. Misfortune? Fortune is simply humility in the mighty. Well, mayhaps. They simply lacked my charm. <laughs> <laughs> Gifted they may be, yet strive they not. Content with little and lost in lust. Seek the ease, yet crave the renown. They yearn for freedom, yet aspire to Buddhahood. They always want both, yet nobody can and nobody should. Such was the folly of the Bull King and Wukong. Destiny's favor calls for the resolution to sever all desires. You should mark well these words. Hold on. This can't be Wukong's memory. You're fooling us, aren't you? Ah, five of the six relics call for one. Badger, tell me which. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mind, it's mind. What did you just see? The three of us? That was the last one. I see now. It was you. I knew it from the beginning. You were the mind of Wukong all along. That's why you led us here. Not me. It's him. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Him? He is Wukong? Yes. And no. Cut to the chase, will you? We didn't come this far for your riddles. After Wukong died, five of his six senses endured and were taken by the Yao Guai kings. Only his mind was lost. Mind is the first of the six. It's the essence unique to every life. Therefore, it's destined to fade away at life's end. Hold on. You mean Wukong's gone for good, never to return? You old bastard! You've been lying to us all this time! That Wukong you knew will never return. But what made him remains. The universe will always bear him a successor. One who shall carry on his name and nature. This chosen successor is the destined one. Nameless you were, yet perils and mighty foes you've braved to recover his relics. Your will now stands resolute, worthy of his power. You mean this boy is to take Wukong's name? He's not! Son Wukong is long gone! <sighs> but yeah, deep down, you know he wasn't all that perfect. <clears throat> now that he is dead, this one, perhaps, shall bear the name in his stead.
Here, we can venture forth with you no further. This task is yours alone. Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face the final ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name!
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tongue Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. <laughs> <laughs>